What's going on, guys? Welcome into the Young Hollywood studio. Grabbed his mic yeah, yeah, right on, no right on, to, no one told me to hold it. <laughs> right on the, on the dot. Until you were holding it, yeah. Seth Rogen, how's it going? I'm good. I'm not young. Well, is there any like what, there is there a cutoff here? No, <laughs> this, it's, it's about attitude. Well, then, it's not about the I, age. I, I, would, I would argue I don't have a young attitude either. <laughs> I would say I probably well, might. Sure, I'm 36 and my attitude is arguably that of a 79 year old person. I have to bond with you for a second though. Okay. Because. You're gonna think I'm a crazy dog lady for saying this, which I am. I have a King Charles Cavalier. Really? Zelda doesn't like uh, other dogs though, generally. Really? Yeah, she's kind of shy. I told my King Charles that Zelda gets to be carried around in a in a purse. Yes, a man. It's like it's a bag. It's I like guess a man's purse. Bag. Yeah, I guess. A purse. Yeah. She was kind of jealous that I don't do that, so I have to step up my dog. Well, parenting. I only do it in New York because uh, in order to take her like into in cabs, cabs like won't stop for you if you have a like dog. Like an Uber. Like, there's no chance, really, unless you say it's a service or you have papers exactly, or something, Exactly, yeah, right? but cabs especially, like, don't f*** with dogs that much. And then, uh, and subway. If you want to take her on the subway, you got to put her in the bag also. Yeah. Yeah, so I do that. I take her in a bag on the subway. <laughs> what, a, what a city dog. I love that. Yeah. Just bouncing around. Zelda's very uh, well-traveled dog. Speaking of uh, comedy, you're here, so we have to talk about comedy. Um, <laughs> I know you like comedy with big stakes, I and do. one of your latest films, Like Father, in my opinion, seems to have some pretty big stakes because being left at the altar yeah. is not very funny. Yeah, I'd say the movie is like, uh, it, it, it has dramatic elements to it, though. I would say okay. the, the term dramedy is thrown around. <laughs> okay. Um, sometimes like uh, with, f f uh, you know, with not the respect it deserves. But I would say this has both dramatic and comedic uh, elements, and I would say it, yeah, and that's what I like about it. I think, you know, over the years we've made movies like uh, like 50-50 and The Disaster Artist, and I think those movies that kind of have very funny parts but also are not afraid to uh, go a little deeper emotionally yeah. are movies that just the older I get, the more I like, because I like to cry, because there's a lot wrong with me. Cry and, and laugh. Once in a while, you just need a movie to pull out those demons. Yeah. If I'm correct, I believe your wife directed and wrote this film. This film. She did, yes. It was great working with her, honestly, and I grew up working in an environment where the director's kids were in the movies and yeah. wife, and um, so like working with friends and family has never been weird to me. It's kind of always been um, the thing that I'm very comfortable doing, and this is a movie that when I read the script, I was like, oh, I would love this movie. Like, this is 100% yeah. the type of movie that um, I would watch and that I would be super um, into and that I would see it and see someone else playing that role and be like, why the f didn't you put me in that movie? Like, why? Yeah. I like that. And she was yeah. already auditioning other people for it, no. which I was taking personally. And she did not ask me to, I didn't want to like muscle my way in. So I had to wait for her to ask me to do it, which she eventually did. You uh, had to like yeah. play it cool. I had and to then... pray someone better than me didn't audition. <laughs> <laughs> and I just had to subtly slander everyone who did audition. I was like, that guy's okay. You have Kelsey Grammer, Kristen mm -hmm. Bell. What a fun group, I, I would imagine. Did you guys have some fun behind the scenes? We filmed on a cruise ship, which is hell. It's a as though someone took hell and set it adrift. It's such a big ship that it was actually amazing. There's something amazing about it. It felt like being on a space station. Like, that that was like what I kept thinking was, I was like, the closest thing to this in my head is a space station yeah, in a movie. I could what, see that. But imagine a space station where everyone's in like tank tops and flip flops. <laughs> so a gross space station. Yeah. Like a space station where no one feels a need to dress up that much. It was like a space station with a lot of people from Florida on it. <laughs> the only other time I've been on a cruise, I was like 12 and I hated it. And I was like, I'm never going on a cruise again. And then Lauren's like, we be in my movie. I'm like, great. She's like, you have to go on a cruise. I'm like, that's like, a sore real subject. bummer. <laughs> yeah. My parents, conversely, love cruises. But their parents, all parents are, love my cruises. My parents at any given moment are on a cruise. Like, uh, they are probably at sea nine months a year uh, on, on cruise ships. And I'm not exaggerating. It's insane. Maybe one day we'll interview you on a cruise ship. It'll all come no, full circle. No, if it's docked <laughs> in Long Beach, perhaps. Young Hollywood yeah. boating style. There was a boat where they were just like, should they do the junket on a cruise ship? I was like, no, <laughs> no. Yeah. There's messages they play on the cruise ship that tell that remind the people to wash their hands or else everyone gets like dysentery or something. That like, is so that's funny. how gross it is. Well, note to everyone watching, do not invite Seth Rogan no. on a cruise. And if you Sore go on a subject. cruise, wash your hands.